Hi, everybody. Hi. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Let me see. So I have uh, like half of my class here. How are you today, everybody? Pretty good? Very good, teacher. Yes, teacher. Fine. Yeah? Very good. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um, is everything okay in your about your house? You guys are. Uh, you don't have any problems uh, with the with the hurricane. Any problems, guys? That you've been having with with the hurricane? Everybody's okay. Everybody's safe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's safe. Yes or no? Yes, safe. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Because, um, well, uh, yeah, it's it's a very cheery hurricane. Um, many people have have uh, suffered because of that, but thank God, I think here in in our in in El Salvador, I think it. It hasn't been that bad so but we still have to um you know pray for for the others that are going through a very difficult time because it has affected many parts yeah okay how was your your um holiday yesterday do you have a nice holiday yes teacher and it was good because it's time to it was time to relax <laughs> mm, yeah yeah definitely it was yeah yeah you can relax a little bit right um yeah so every what did you guys do yesterday what what did you do on your on your holiday in my case i spent my time watching movies <laughs> good yeah. What what movies did you watch? Oh, I don't remember the name, but it's a uh, it's a movie from of Antonio Banderas, but I don't remember the name. Oh, okay. It's, it's a movie that that he is directing his wife. Uh, was killer. Yeah, killer is He and his wife were a killer. Asesinav is killer? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Killers. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. And he take our revenge. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Wow. Is it a new movie or an old movie? I don't know. I, I never I never Listen or so watch movie. I don't know in which in which year. Okay. They, they need them. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, what about the others? What did you do yesterday? Uh, hi. Good evening. Teacher. Hi. Good evening, uh, Jonathan. Um, classmates. Um, yesterday I. Uh, I stayed in my in my house with my family, um, with my wife and my children. Um, um, with my wife, and we clean the house because uh, needs uh, because we have a lot of dirty clothes, oh. and and soyapango. Uh, it's it's not. It's not normally, and uh, the water service uh, we approach when receive water uh, in the the house and clean the house. For example, the floor, um, the roof, rooster, 
the roof as other um, and the, the, the dishes um, the uh, kitchen ads, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and finally, uh, we um, watch a movie too. Um, is the the pork? The which one? Is the title of the movie the pork? The pork. The pork. The pork. Yeah. And it was this uh, interesting movie because I think in the future, um, and United States and other country, the people take the justice in their hands and try to kill assassins, uh, thief, wow. politicians, and try to give a best best life in the future. I think so. I understand the movie. How interesting. Wow. Okay. Wow. Very yeah, interesting. Yeah. Did you like it? Would you recommend it? Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting um, because the assassins was um, real. Uh, the people search guns, uh, for example, um, knife, uh, guns, or other type of of arms. No, no, uh, of guns, for example. Weapons. Um, tanks, tanks, uh, uh, yeah. Tanks, world's tanks. And it's cruel, the movie, but I think it's approximate the uh, reality. Okay, how interesting. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. good. Okay, so um, and so you are, um, so do you, what, what kind of movies are you interested in? I like um, uh, action movies and fantastic movies. I like to watch movies around Star Wars when you watch um, different kinds of fantasy or or high hi-fi no no I don't understand the uh, incredible things another planets or uh, I like the Harry Potter saga too uh, because it's interesting witchers wizard and um, magicians it's, it's very nice. I like the oh, um, things in others' words. Excellent. All right. Good. Well, guys, it sounds like you had a very interesting uh, holiday. Um, and I'm glad you guys were able to enjoy yourselves, right? Because that's what, well, that's what it's about, right? To have a little bit of like a holiday for a little bit of a break to be able to, well, and the nice thing was that it was going, it was a long weekend, right? You guys know what a long weekend is? Yes. Have you ever heard of the expression long weekend? Um, different, take a rest and um, various days, no? Um, it's a long, long week weekend. What it means is that when, for example, you have a holiday uh, on a Friday, uh, on a Friday or a Monday, uh, then you have a long weekend because you have either uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as your weekend, or you have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, which is our case, right? If for this holiday you had three days for the for the weekend, right? So that's what we call a long weekend. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that's always nice because you are able to. Um, you know, just kind of enjoy yourself. And, and um, you know, if you want, you can go somewhere uh, and spend the whole, the, whole, um, the whole weekend, right, somewhere. Although I know with this pandemic, it's not very possible. But speaking about, um, about vacations and things like that, uh, what we're gonna do right now today, uh, what we're going to is just quickly, I'm going to review 
a little bit about um, the uh, the present, sorry, the past progressive and the simple past. Okay, and this is something that we were looking at in our previous class. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start there by reviewing that information since I know it was a long time ago. It was like, it's, my goodness, like five days ago, <laughs> you know, or five, uh, let me see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, basically five nights ago. So it's a long time ago. So I'm just gonna quickly review with you the, um, Okay, we have so this is the past uh, continuous versus the past simple, right? Okay, just to remind you guys. Um, how to use this. Like I said, this is a quick review because we already saw this, but I do want you guys to be able to remember what I'm talking about. Okay, so we were saying, I told you guys I'm not the best drawer, but roughly this is the idea here. Okay, so uh, we said that this was going to be the present. And this is, all of this is gonna be the past, okay? Anything that comes before that is going to be the past. Okay. Well, let me just put the past over here so that it's easier for you guys to identify. All of this is the past. Okay. Um, so all of this is the past. Now, what we were talking about the other day is that there could be two actions of past, right? An action. Sorry, let me try that again. There we go, okay. So we have an action that starts over here. And then I have a second action over here. Okay, so this action is actually the one that uh, we would say is like the, the main action, okay? Like if you're telling a story, all of the main events of that story are going to be in this tense. So we're going to use a simple, a simple past, or the past simple is the same thing. Okay. All right. So all of the main actions of a of a story are going to be over here. Okay. All of the things that were here, and then. Um, over here, we have the other action. This is the past continuous. This one over here is going to be the past continuous. Okay. This action over here, though, is different from the simple past. Why? It's different because because it continues. It continues for a period of time. Okay. And what happens is that this action is actually something that um, not only continues, but it is usually, not all the time, 
but usually interrupted by another action. Okay, so it continues, continues, continues up to over here. And then usually this action is the one that stops it. Okay, does that make sense? Does that make sense for everybody or you're a little bit confused? Yes. Do you then make sense, please? Okay. All right. Any questions you gonna you wanna ask? Um, I think that the past continuous is an action. Uh, it started in the past, but not but finished in the in the same past, no. Yes. Yes. Both actions finish in the past. Okay. 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 Both actions are yeah. finishing yeah. in the past. Both of them. It's just that this one is a longer activity. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. If you want to see it um, a little bit, if you want to understand a little bit better, then you would say, for example, um, that this would be a, the long action. If we have two actions, this one is usually a long action. Okay? Okay, okay. So this would be a longer action, an action that um, continues for maybe a, it could be like, a, it could continue for uh, minutes, hours, weeks, or even years. Whereas this one is a shorter action. This is something that would happen probably in question, um, like maybe fractions of a second or seconds or tops in like minutes, um, but it's a very short activity, okay? So I'm gonna put that so that it'll be easier for you to identify it. I'm actually going to say longer. It's a longer activity because it doesn't necessarily mean that it's shorter. That, that this is very, very long, right? But it's definitely longer between the two of them. This one's a longer activity if you want to know. This is a shorter activity. Okay, now just to remind you guys about how to make the past perfect, sorry, the past continuous, I'm just going to quickly write here the structure so that we don't get confused, we don't forget. It's important to always have the subject. Okay, all right, so there it is, the structure. Okay, I put the complement in parentheses because sometimes it's not necessary. Okay, sometimes you won't have it. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But what you always will have is this. You'll always have a subject, you'll always have was or were, 
don't forget this. Okay, this is really, really, really important. You can't just say the subject from the verb I plus ing. We have to use was or were, okay, one of the two, depending on the subject. Be careful if the subject is singular, make sure that it's uh, was. If the subject is plural, make sure that it's were, okay? And then we use the ing form, okay, of the verb. Okay, so that's the structure. Any questions at this moment? No, no teacher. Okay, let me just put this in parentheses here. Oh, but it's in a box. Let's make a little box here. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the structure you're going to be using. Okay. And of course, you already know the simple past, right? The simple past is going to be, well, if it's regular verb, you're going to make sure that you put ED <clears throat> or just a D if it finishes an E or, to, or an IED if, you, if, if the verb finishes in Y, then you have to eliminate the Y. Also, remember that um, if it's an irregular verb, you're not going to be able to um, have a specific um, uh, structure, right? Because it's irregular, right? So it's going to change. Okay. All right, guys. So any questions, anything you want to ask at this moment before we continue? No, no have question. No? Okay. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to, um, we're going to be dividing the class into groups. You guys just had a long weekend, okay? Uh, I'm actually going to stop um, presenting here. So actually, if you want to take a picture of this, go ahead and take a picture of it. Um, if you think you're going to need it, go ahead and take a picture. It's because we're going to be using it. Okay, so what we're going to do is the following. Since we have all had a long weekend and we probably did some something different, right? I mean, I'm not saying necessarily that you had an incredibly explosive uh, weekend, right? But you did um, have a, a different kind of weekend, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to tell your classmates about your weekend. And I want you to use these uh, the past continuous to contrast the simple past, okay? So you can say, to give you an example, uh, this weekend, I, um, well, I'll tell you something. Uh, we did, like, uh, for example, this weekend, I got together with my family, uh, We, but we did it over Zoom. We had a potluck. So all of that is in the simple past, right? We got together with my family, we had a potluck. Um, and while we, um, and while we were eating, we watched a video. Okay. So while we were eating, while we were eating, we watched a video. Okay. Now in that case, it's not interrupting it. In this case, it's happening at the same time. One action, um, one action was in the simple past. And the other one was a longer action, okay? But we can also say, for example, um, I can say uh, this weekend, uh, while I was a, teaching a class, uh, I got a visit from my, my grandmother, to give an example, okay? So in that case, that, uh, that action interrupts, okay? Or for example, uh, this weekend, I was um, um, I don't know, I was visiting my family, or, or, or I was visiting the cemetery uh, when I heard about the Hurricane Eta example. Okay, so what I want you to do is basically just share your experiences with your classmates. Um, let me see how many people there are right now. So I have four, okay, 13. I have 13 
students right now. So I'll get you guys to work probably um, in groups of three or four, and you guys can start talking about that. Do we understand what, to, what we're going to be doing? Yeah. 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 I'm going to divide you guys. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Oh, um, I'll give you about 10 minutes. Okay. No problem. I'll give you, yeah. I'll give you a Okay, so go ahead guys and join our groups. Hi guys, do you have any questions? I think no, I understood that we have to talk about the past using past continuous, right? For the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about our life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I would like to hear you guys um, talking about your weekend, okay? So uh, pretend like I'm not here and go ahead and talk about your weekend. Make sure you use both structures, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. Con continue talking. Oh, oh my, your partner <laughs> left. <It's up> here. <laughs> okay, um, all right. You know what then, I'm going to assign you. I'm gonna assign you to another group, okay? Um, let's see, I'm gonna assign you. Okay, so we're in group. Okay, I'm going to take you to group number three. Okay, so go ahead and join group number three. Um, I don't know how do you say uh, when you have acrylicas, acrylic nails, I don't know. I uh -huh. did my pedicure, but in, at Plaza Merliot, um, I, I, I do disagree. I don't know, Jessica, um, I'm not agree about the, the service because uh, Jessica is the name of the... No, 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 Jessica is our coach or, or, or our teacher. Hi, what can happened? You fix my, can you oh. fix my, my mistakes, please? <laughs> Do you need I'm not agree about the, the, the service of the spa because me hirió el dedo. <laughs> I actually, I have a oh. part of my, el dedo del pie, I don't know how this, I don't remember. Toes, toes. Toes, toes, my toes. Mm. So <laughs> that's why it's a friend that you visit my long weekend. <laughs> and what about you, you Claudia? Saritas. Saritas. Uh, Is the name of the beauty salon? I, yes. Saritas mm. Beauty Supply in the Spa. It's front of Prisma Moda. Mm -hmm. 
I don't recommend that place because it has a bad customer service and it's expensive too. <laughs> Okay. And uh, yes. what about you, Claudia? Okay. Uh, I have a long weekend, like you. Uh, on Friday, uh, we don't we didn't have English class, and I yeah, <laughs> and I I enjoy my night, but uh, I enjoy watching some movies with my family and mm. on sunday uh, i am from to metapan and sunday i i went to santa ana to buy something because i am thinking in put um i don't know how to say a little business maybe mm -hmm. and and i how to to went to to buy many things that I will need and it was um, a busy day and, uh, and uh, I have to say tired day, tired day. But on Sunday, I, I returned to my house in Metapan and my family and I went to visit, visit uh, other family, um, and we. Yeah, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh huh. For example. Silent, please. <laughs> um, I. You have a sentence. Uh, last weekend, I visit my grandma. Uh, Richard, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Just be careful when you when you say ver when you pronounce verbs in the past that finish in the t sound or the d sound. Make sure that you add the extra syllable. So, in the case, for example, visit, visit, the sound it finishes with a t sound, right? So you have to make uh, the extra syllable there. You have to put visited visited okay yeah does it make sense richard or did i lose richard i don't understand sorry oh okay okay um if you just say visit if you only say the word visit, then visit is only in the base form, right? Mm -hmm. Visit, like, then I cannot tell the difference between the base form, like the original form, or the simple past. So in order to be able to um, show that it's a simple past, um, I have to, Okay, actually, I'm going to use the whiteboard to be able to show you what I'm talking about. This is this has to do with pronunciation, not about this is not spelling, this is not grammar, really. It's about pronunciation. Okay, so if I have the word visit, oops, sorry, visit, I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, so I have the word here, visit. Now, visit finishes in the letter T. I'm sorry. Okay, so it finishes in the letter T, okay, which is one of the sounds that we make when we use, uh, when we use a simple pass with regular verbs. For example, in the case of a walk, okay, walk, a, when we put the, the ED at the end, 
we say what? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this ED, we pronounce it. In the ED, we pronounce it like a t sound. So this this part here is pronounced like a t. So what we when we pronounce this word, we say wa. Okay, wa. Yes. But the problem with this one is that visit already finishes in a t sound. So if I just say visit, well then I won't know if it's the simple present or the simple past. Does that make sense? Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so in order to be able to understand in the pronunciation that I am referring to the simple past and I'm using visited, and then in that case, this one has to be an extra syllable. We have to pronounce it like an extra syllable. Okay? So we end up saying this. So visit is two, what visit is two syllables, right? The, zit, right? This. Two syllables, right? Two syllables. But what we do in order to pronounce this like the simple past, this is actually pronounced like an extra syllable. So we end up saying visit Ted. Visit Ted. That's an extra syllable. Okay? Does that make okay. more sense now? This is yes. um walk. Yes, Michelle, you had a question? Um, excuse me, I have a question, but with the platform. Oh, in okay. the section uh, 1.9, that we have to, to do the sentences using the simple present passive. And I don't know how to do because in the first time I make the sentence and I change the 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 verb mm -hmm. and in the two times uh was incorrect so i don't know how to do it and maybe you can uh do an example for us mm -hmm. and we can do the the whole sentences because in my case i don't understand how to do it Okay, the only thing you have to do is make sure that the verb to be is in the simple present. So you have to use is, are, or am. And the past participle is always going to be past participle. So you got it. I would suggest checking if you got the past participle correct. Because remember, past participle is, is different, right? So for example, in the verb see, it's not saw, it would be seen. In verbs like um, take, it's not- Yes, because we use the past participle, right? Exactly. So that one stays the same, that one doesn't change. Um, and in the case, I mean, you just have to make sure that you're using simple, the simple present of be, so is or are, and then the past participle, okay? But for example, um, I have to change the order of the sentence. Uh, you got to make sure that you, the subject of the passive voice is the object of the active voice. Yes. For example, if I say, Jimmy broke the window. So in that sentence, Jimmy is the, the subject. Jimmy broke is the verb. The window is the object. In that case, what you're going to have to do is make sure that um, the object, which is the window, is now going to become my subject in the uh, in the passive voice. So I'm going to say the window was broken by Jimmy. 
Does that make sense? So, so um, I remember that the first sentence of the platform was uh, many crops grown in Taiwan. Were, were grown or are grown in Taiwan, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So in that, um, I have to, to say that the crops uh, grow, grown in Taiwan. Many crops are grown in Taiwan or many crops were grown in Taiwan if it's in the past. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing you have to do is make sure that you're putting the verb to be in the correct form. That's it. Okay. Does that answer your question, Michelle? Yes, okay. thank you. Good, all right. I'm just gonna go and help the other groups um, that haven't helped and I will, anything else, uh, you can call me back, okay? And so go ahead and continue talking like I'm not here. So go ahead and talk, continue talking. Okay. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Michelle, you understand? The platform? Um, I, I, for, I forget. Winter. Well, um, let me tell you, uh, I love Metapan for your experience. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you some Santa Tecla's advantages because uh, Santa Tecla ha has a lot of advantages too. And if you uh, have, if you have a car, you can drive uh, to the to the beach in almost thirty minutes approximately. And to La the Libertad, Puerto La Libertad, yes. Yeah. But yeah. if you want to to walk. Or run in a mountain, you can drive uh, until Eco Parque. Yes, yeah. Eco Parque in, in, on El Boquerón or mm -hmm. El Bicentenario has a lot of eccentric and parks and Okay, all right guys, so you had opportunity there to uh, use the simple, sorry, the, the past, uh, the past continuous and the simple past. Okay, now today we're going to be looking at another structure and the other structure has to do with what we call the past perfect progressive or past perfect continuous. For this, I'm actually going to be sharing um, the video. Well, actually not the, I'm actually going to be sharing the video. I'm actually, I'm just going to be sharing the, um, what's it called? The, um, the conversation of the video. Okay. That's what we're going to be looking at because, uh, what we're going to do right now is we're just going to see what 
we use this structure for? Because it's not just important to know uh, why we, or better said, how, how to create the structure. It's also important to understand how we use it, right? Uh, in what context do we use it? And what we're going to be learning right now is to see that you're going to be seeing that this structure is something that we can use to talk about uh, what activities we have been doing, what activities uh, from the past we have been, um, what we have been ap active until this moment. Maybe the actions recently finished, maybe the actions um, it didn't or, or uh, didn't finish, maybe they continue up to the present, okay? To give you an example, you can say, I have been learning English for, I don't know, a, one year or two years or three years or five years, okay? So what you're saying is that uh, learning English started in the past and it's something that you have continued doing until the present, okay? Now, will you continue to learn English? Well, probably, right? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're not gonna stop learning English just because it, you know, because you can't, you've gotten up to this course. Probably not just because you're gonna finish in like, a, you know, two more weeks and you're gonna finish. No, most likely you're going to continue learning it. But that is something that you have uh, an activity that has been in progress uh, for some time and it's up to the present, okay? Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Yes? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Because what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna be watching uh, the, the conversation like I said, it's 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 in the video, but we're not going to watch the video. We're just going to Hello. be um, doing the uh, or really lo looking at the conversation that is going to help us to be able to um, to identify how we use this. Okay, so let's see. Um, give me a second here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to share it right now. Okay, let me know when you can see this. Do you see it or not yet? Can you see it? Yeah. 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 Perfect. yeah teacher. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to actually ask two people to be volunteers to read about Pete and Gina. So, who would like to be Pete, a volunteer, to be Pete and read what Pete has to say? Just a volunteer. Come on. All you got to do is read. Me. You don't have to do anything complicated. Me, teacher? I would like to be Pete. Okay, you want to repeat? Okay, and who said me? Okay. Claudia. Claudia, okay, Claudia, you can be Gina, okay? okay. So, so Jonathan, you can be Pete and Claudia, you can be Gina. Okay, so go ahead. Okay. Hey Gina, I haven't seen you in age. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working to Joe's for the last six months. How come? I'm saving, um, I'm saving money for a trip to Mor Morocco. Morocco. Well, uh, well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Uh, well, I've only been spending money and it a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Uh, since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. Uh, I'm almost out of money. Okay. 
Bravo. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. All right. Any vocabulary that you don't understand here? Pushing. I'm pushing. Um. I'm trying to find where, oh yeah, pursuing. Right here, this one? Yeah, yes. pursuing, yeah. Actually, I did a race that I don't like. Oh, let's... That's better. Okay, pursuing. Pursuing means uh, trying to find something, trying to achieve a goal, okay? Have you seen, have you ever seen that movie uh, with Will Smith? Um, the one where he he acts with he's a uh, he acts with his son, his 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 son who's very young, and uh, he's like a he's like this father that's very um he's like a, a single father and he doesn't have any money. You know that movie? I don't like that movie. I don't like movie. <laughs> you don't like the movie? Why it's don't you like sad it? It's sad. It. <laughs> I know. I know it's sad. I know. I know. Um, is like a synonymous, right? Sorry? Chasing. chasing is like a synonymous, right? What is a syn it's synonymous? Chasing of pursuing. Oh, yes. Chasing. 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 Yes, exactly. Yeah. What I was going to talk to you about is that that movie is called in pursuit of happiness, in pursuit of happiness. Pursuit comes from, uh, from this, this verb pursuing, right? Uh, which is like, yes, like you said, very similar to chasing, right? So it means like going after um, a certain dream, a certain, uh, you are trying to reach for that goal. And okay, that's what it means, in, pers uh, in pursuit of happiness or in this case, pursuing a full-time modeling career. So that means that you are looking for it. You are trying to be successful. Okay. Does that uh, I only remember the song of Steve Aoki. Sorry? I only remember the, the pursuit of happiness, the song of the, by, sorry, uh, Steve Aoki. This, no, this I never listened to that song. Um, the singers or DJ songs, things, uh, Steve Hockey. Oh, mm, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. I remember that the title, the title is uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Okay, okay, interesting. All right, I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. Uh, good, any other vocabulary that you don't understand? No? No, no. Okay. All right. Um, in that case, let me uh, just point out it, some of the structures that we have here. For example, what have you been doing? That's a present perfect continuous. I've been working. Um, I've been spending. So I'm gonna move this one. Oops, sorry. So I've only been spending. Okay. How long have you been modeling? So I haven't been getting any job. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So those are all structures there of the present for uh, the present perfect. Sorry. Yeah. The present perfect continuous, right? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to quickly show you the structure that we're going to be using for the present perfect continuous. And that is, um, that is something that we're, like I said, we're going to be using when we're talking about activities that started in the past and they continue up to the present. Okay, so I'll repeat structures that start in the past and they continue up to the present, okay? So, 
present. Perfect. Continuous. Okay, that's the structure. Present perfect continuous. And like I said, we use this when we're talking about an action that starts in the past and it continues up to the present. Maybe it's finished, maybe it's not. And the structure is very simple. The structure is the subject. Plus was, oh, sorry, um, have. And in the negative, it would be haven't. Haven't. Right? Okay. Um, plus been. Plus verb, plus, oops, plus ing, plus complement. Okay. That's the structure we're going to be using. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, so there's the structure. Now, in the case of uh, the subject being he, she, or it, you would have the structure would be not have, but has. And in the negative, it would be hasn't. Okay, and everything else would stay the same. So it'd be the subject plus have or haven't, plus been, plus verb plus ing, and the complement, or the subject plus has or hasn't, has or hasn't, plus been, plus the verb plus complement, okay? That's the structure. Okay, guys, um, so what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is the following. I want you to think about if, you're, if you were going to be meeting with a friend that you haven't seen in the last five years, okay? Think about a friend that you haven't seen for whatever reason you haven't seen them in five years. And they and then they ask you, what things have you been doing in those five years? What would you say? Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that it started the activities five years ago, but it just means that something that happened within those five years. I want you to think about at least eight activities, eight activities, that you have been doing in the last five years, write them down, have them ready for tomorrow, because we're going to be using this to talk about the present perfect continuous. Okay? Got it, guys? Got it, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, so that's going to be all for today. It's been great seeing you guys again. I'm happy everybody's safe, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. See ya. Good night. 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 Good